Hi, I'm Zena Awesome and this is Vandar Awesome. And today I'm going to talk about eh, a subject that's not too uh, popular with a lot of people, but it's easily going to the bathroom. Um, this relates to both Vandar's brain cancer and, of course, using a camper van. So, when we sleep at rest stops, a lot of times in the middle of the night, um, one or both of us has to go to the bathroom and often I park closer to where it's easy to take the dogs to the bathroom not where it's easy for us to go to the bathroom so it's a long walk to the bathroom and that's a little bit tough for Vandar and as you saw in the one video even him just getting out of the bed takes a bit to do and often at night, of course, it's cold. It's nice and warm under the covers in the van. But if we was to go out into the cold, we'd need to have jackets or other things to stay warm. And, it's, and um, at rest stops, the bathrooms aren't heated either, usually. So they're pretty cold, too. So it's a very miserable experience to have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And, of course, some people consider rest area bathrooms in the middle of the night creepy. I don't know if I feel that so much. I feel pretty safe. So, what we've, um, I just bought a new one, but we've been using one of these types of systems for over a year now. Um, as it says on the front that um, it reduces <laughs> spills and odors, um, it reduces nightfalls, and it reduces caregiver <coughs> burnout, and um, no lid needed. It's easy to use and clean, has a large capacity, and um, this is, I've, it was, it's well worth having one of these. Um, basically, obviously, you've got the urinal part that you go to the bathroom in, but it actually drains down into a bag. And so the advantage to that is that it doesn't spill. So you just, you know, use a bit of gravity, you make sure it goes all down into the bag, and then it has a valve to keep it from spilling back. And then what you do when in the morning is I usually carry it into the bathroom in, in a plastic bag so people don't see what I'm carrying. And you simply drain it using this, and then you run some water in it, and you run water through the whole thing, and again drain that. And uh, that's how you clean it. So it's, it's reusable, and because, as they say, of the large capacity, um, actually Vandar and I can both use it um, a couple times during the night, and it still not be full. Now, if you're wondering about women and using a urinal, that's where one of these comes in handy. Um, with this, I could actually even um, go to the bathroom into a bottle if I needed to. And sometimes when we're out in the middle of nowhere, obviously guys have an easy time, but women don't. So for you women out there, these things are really easy to use and they make life a lot easier. Um, you do need to practice with it a little bit because if you squeeze it too hard, um, it does kind of, it's flexible, it's soft, it's comfortable, but it does squish. And if you squish it or don't get it in the right position, you, you can have a little bit of a mess. So you do have to little bit of a learning curve but it's not that tough but this makes our also when we're camping um, boondocking and don't have a bathroom this is really nice but just like I said even at rest areas and stuff like that now we do have another porta potty but the porta potty is a lot more work to clean so this is very easy to clean can just empty it when we use it love it and, yeah. <laughs>